Uh-oh. I just got an email that our app is down. Apparently the database is hanging and we're losing transactions. If we set up a circuit breaker, the app can respond to the error rather than hanging. But then each of our services has to implement its own logic for circuit breaking? This is an infrastructure problem. Why don't we solve it with Kubernetes and Istio? Let me show you. So here's my website. As you can see, it's a one-stop shop for everything you need to buy in order to be the best hipster that you can be. It's built on Google Kubernetes Engine with the optional Istio add-on enabled. One of the neat things Istio gives is visibility into everything that's going on. In this case, I'm going to use the open source Kiali console to show that. As you can see, I have two microservices, my front end, which is talking to Cloud Memory Store for session caching, and my product catalog, which is talking to Cloud SQL for product information, pricing, and that kind of thing. Istio has a concept of versions, and I have two versions of my product catalog, the working version and the broken version. The broken version simulates the kind of issues I've seen in the past, where a service takes too long to respond. This could be due to a stressed out database with millions of transactions waiting to be processed. Perhaps it's infrastructure issues or networking problems. Whatever it is, it's things that make my entire website fail. I can tell you, if I went to a website that took 15 plus seconds to render a web page every time I clicked a link, I'd probably go to one of their competitors. And that's exactly what my broken service simulates. It takes a connection, holds it for 15 seconds, and eventually replies. So even if a service is down, we can have our application handle the error rather than just hang it. Right. With Istio, you could enforce a blackout rather than a brownout when the service is misbehaving. In the past, you'd have had to include all sorts of libraries to do that, and it can get really complicated. Let me show you how to do it. So let's turn on that broken version, send some traffic to it, and show how Istio can help. One of the cool concepts in Istio is a virtual service. A virtual service defines where my traffic is rooted within the mesh. So I'm going to say, send 100% of my traffic to the broken version of my microservice. If I apply that change and go back to my app and refresh it, you'll see Chrome is hanging because my backend service is hanging. At this point, you've lost me as a customer. But worse, if this was a payment service, you may have even lost a sales record. I've seen all this and worse in the past due to these kind of bugs. So what can we do to mitigate it? In the past, we might have used circuit breaker libraries. The problem with this approach is that they're very language specific. So if one app is written in Java and another in Go, they'll have different libraries and sharing state between them is difficult. Istio gives me a way to solve this with circuit breaker patterns. There are two cool things at play here. The first is my destination rule. The destination rule defines not only the versions of my application, but also characteristics on how they receive traffic. In this case, I'm saying, allow a maximum of 200 pending requests. But I could also put things like TCP session information and all kinds of settings for my mesh to understand what this app can deal with and what its tolerances are. In this case, I can never have more than 200 pending requests. The 201st request will simply see my app is down, a blackout, not a brownout. The second thing I can do is modify my virtual service to change the maximum amount of time a request can wait for my app to reply. By default, this could be virtually infinite, but for some apps, that's not appropriate. In the case of my catalog service, I never want to wait for more than one second. If I apply this change now, Istio, with that maximum of one second, will intercept the call, which is taking 15 seconds, and say no and instead give me a 503 gateway error to my app, which I can deal with very easily, and then I can just show that my catalog is offline. The cool thing about this is I've not changed a single line of code. And the very neat thing is in my console, I have visibility of these broken requests. I can see my services down without waiting for my users to go to a competitor. Great, so now our application is able to properly handle the errors. Right, and you only need to change a little bit of config. Didn't have to touch any of your code. Don't forget to subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content.